What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Now, guys, you know, Kampala, Uganda is a very interesting place to be. I mean, SBK rocked out here for like nine months. I've been here like 16 times. And let me just say, uh, it's like the good in the bad, like stop the show. Lights out of thing. Oh fuck! Yeah, like sometimes you're out here and the electricity stops, and then your day is completely jacked up. But today we're gonna go to Masaka. Now Masaka, for those of you who uh, who've been here, um, I've never been to this town, but it's in the central uh, district here. Okay, and there's a, a, a brother out there that's doing it real big. His name is Emmanuel uh, Kawesi. Now, I don't know the guy, but like I said, looks like he's a player. He's balling out there. I mean, he looking fresh and so clean right there, right? But they said that the brother gets it in, okay? And basically, he was dealing with a, a lady by the name of Angel Kwakunda, all right? Now, they were married and something happened, right? And we stopped the show and we all know that you know, relationships can come and go. And like I said, I don't know how true this is, but it's being reported. And basically he had gifted her a nice ride, right? Like the brother's balling, so he got it like that. Ain't nothing to him. But what happened is that um, recently, as they have broken up, he, uh, he took the goddamn car back. <laughs> gifted the car, to his alleged side chick, all right, who might be working in a massage parlor. Now, we already know that when you're rich and when you got money and stuff like that, and that's the picture of the car, you know what I'm saying, um, being towed away. But you know, this is gonna happen, right? But let me just say this, in his defense, because I don't know how true this is, but what I kept hearing, because I actually saw this on, on my WhatsApp from some of the ladies that live here, and they were complaining about him as a man and this is what men do here and you know and you know in america you would hear the same thing you know indian giving men but my question is this ladies ladies around the world ladies everywhere don't y'all have enough money to get your own goddamn car like what happened to the female empowerment culture and you know this kind of sounds very uh similar to you know sweetie um and and, and quavo you know, where he bought her a, a, a Rolls Royce or a Bentley and he was like, ah, give me my shit back because you broke up with me. So this is what I want to talk about because I keep hearing so many different things around the world. And you know what? And it's very similar because you'd be surprised that, you know, being here in, in this part of the world, how, how, uh, how much uh, influence Western women have on some of the minds of modern ladies here. And at one point, what you're saying is, I want my ability to be able to work and earn and buy the things that I want. Cause I don't, you know, I can do battle by myself. I don't need no man. And then at the same time, you want the ability, um, for a man to be able to buy you something and you to be able to keep it. Well, which one is it? Okay. And that's the situation that we need to talk about right now. All right. See, if a lot of ladies really believed this whole independent stuff, you wouldn't even let a guy buy your car in the first place. You would buy your own car, okay? Which means that you would work for everything that you get. You would purchase your own car, all your luxury items and all of that stuff. But I think that we as men understand, most women don't really want to do stuff to that extreme. Now don't get me wrong, women will buy the things that they want for themselves. But they damn sure would love for a man to buy them a nice house, a nice car, you know, pretty much something that they probably couldn't afford for themselves. Now, I know people will say that a lot of people wanna live that kind of life and that's right, but I do believe that men understand that, hey, nobody's gonna buy you a freaking car or a house as a man, okay? Like we know that you're not gonna get that, especially in third world countries. But here's what I wanna know. Why can't she buy her own car? And this is what I want to tell this for all the ladies out there. Hey, listen, a lot of ladies are going to be here to understand. Many of you are not 
going to get some man to buy you an expensive home, an expensive car, all right? And so just in case he decides that if he does do it, he wants to take it back, hey, here's the problem solved. All that you have to do is work extremely hard in your life, you know, like don't enjoy a lot of your money at first, because remember, you know, I don't care if you're a good looking woman or whatever you look like, you need to invest most of your money, 80% of your money and building yourself up. No, 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 no. Uh, don't, 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 don't spend all that nice money on those weaves and, and, and wigs and lipstick and stuff like that. No, no. You might need to save that money up for your business and live like that for like 15 to 20 years. Like a lot of guys have to do. And then you buy a nice car. You see, that's what's gonna happen. But we all know it's not the way of the world. So guys like this get abused if they give something to a lady and take it back. And again, I, I'm the kind of guy that if I give you something, I'll let you keep it. I think that's a little bit petty, but what's the premise here? If you wanna buy a car, you work for it. Don't ask men for money, okay? Don't accept gifts from men. You go out there and you buy it yourself because really it's his money. So if he wants to tow it, he can't, especially if the car is in his name. All that you have to do is work hard for yourself. But what do we know in a lot of places um, that I've been around in the world, most women want to be taken care of, be provided for. It's not a bad thing, but you're definitely not gonna be talking shit about this guy when, hey, you can go out there and do it too. You wanna have the same respect, and we talk about equality, um, you know, doing the things that men have to sacrifice to do a lot of times in personal business and things like that. Hey, nothing is stopping you from doing the same thing. All right. You can go out there and buy a car for a hundred thousand dollars and then you pay it. That way you never have to worry about some guy kicking you out. You want a nice house? You want to live in the neighborhood? Rising housing prices? One million dollar house? Guess what? You go buy the house. You never have to worry about some guy kicking you out the house because it's in your name. Hey, you want to go to nice trips, business class trips, go to Dubai, Paris, and London, and South of France. All you got to do is work really hard. You pay for it. You don't have to worry about no man doing all of that. And for sure, there are many, there are some ladies out there who can do this, but there are many ladies who are talking like they can do this and then they can't. That's something that we don't want to talk about. There's so many ladies out there saying, oh, I can do this and buy, buy my, and, you know, and then like sad music. Oh my God, life is so tough. I'm working so hard. I can't believe this. I really wish I had a man to come pay all my bills. And that's what happens. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I am out. Yeah, yeah.